There we go. Got him? Yep. Got one? Yeah. Nice fish. Decent one. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. My name's Steve Cooper. You're watching In Deep on the Delta. And today I'm going to be doing my first gear review. And I'm going to be reviewing the Berkeley Lightning Rod. It's a $35 rod. It's a 7 foot medium action spinning rod that I've been extremely impressed with. But before I get into the rod uh, breakdown, I'd like to just say that uh, I've been around this game for a long time and I've gotten to the point in my career where most of the rods that I buy are upper end rods. And when you're buying a three or four hundred dollar rod, it's easy to get a, a good rod. The trick is to find a low end rod or an entry level rod that fishes well. Now this rod sells for 35 American dollars, if you can believe that. I mean, I do a lot of rod wrapping, I've built a lot of rods. There's no way that I could come close to, to trying to duplicate this rod for $35. So this is a real bargain. Now before we get into breaking down the rod, I would like to say a few words about buying entry level rods. So Berkeley decides they want to make their entry level rod and they call it their lightning rod. They'll make five or six models of the lightning rods. They don't all hit the mark, believe me. Most $30 to $50 rods when you buy them, you say, hey, I got what I paid for. But every now and then there is a jewel laying amongst those five or six rods and for some reason when they did the knockoff when they copied it they just got that one rod right and it's not a four hundred dollar rod but it's just a lot closer than a thirty five dollar rod should be to maybe a hundred and fifty dollar rod and that's this rod right here it's a great rod so let's talk about uh, breaking down the rod and I'll tell you why I like it Number one, I pair it up with a 2500 reel. This is a Shimano Sahara. It balances this rod perfectly. It feels good in your hand. You can fish it all day. It's very comfortable. A lot of fun to fish with. Now, if you're going to have a problem with this rod or you might not like it if you are trying to look for a rod that's super sensitive, the first 18 inches of this rod, it's not going to be an NRS. So. If you're looking for a specific rod to maybe just do a little shaky head fishing or something that you need a lot of finesse, you may want to spend a little more money. But for a versatile rod that can throw a number of different um, a number of different baits, this is a really nice rod. Where it excels at is after that, and it's it's not a a, a club. It, it has some sensitivity. It's just not. Don't expect a four hundred dollar rod. Where it excels at is from here. To here, the midsection of this rod where you have the lifting power and the hook setting power. This is a great rod. I've, I fish the Delta 90% of the time and I've caught fish up to about five pounds with this rod and it's handled them fine. My son who fishes the Napa River quite a bit has a rod like this and he's caught dozens of schoolie stripers up to about five six pounds and he says it handles them great. So you can handle a big fish on this rod. For the Delta, I'm, sp I'm uh, spooling this up with either 8 or 10 pound test. If I'm fishing up at uh, one of the Clearwater Lakes, I'll probably go down to 6 pound. But it'll ha handle anywhere from 6 to, 6 to 10 pound test really well. So, great rod for d throwing a number of baits. It's very versatile. For $35, you can't beat it. You're going to swear it's a $150 rod. Now, I've fished it for about a year. The only thing that I've had a problem with is this cork wrap started to come unwrapped a little bit. I used a little bit of super glue, glued it up, and I haven't had a problem since. Now, and I really like the feel of this kind of faux cork. It's not, it's not a Portuguese cork like you're gonna find on an upper end rod. It's a wrapped cork, but it feels really good in your hand. I keep this on the deck of my boat throughout the summer months anytime I'm throwing a fluke because it's really my one of my favorite fluke rods to throw. So it's in my arsenal. I like fishing it. Uh, I've got a catch that I'd like to show. We'll talk a little bit about watching the bend in the rod and uh, check out a, a fish catch and uh, let you take a look and see wh how, it, how it handles with the fish. So let's take a look. The rod throws a light bait really well and it handles really nice. It feels like a $150 rod in your hand. 
very comfortable to fish with, and it's very well balanced with that 2500 reel on it. And I'm going to miss this fish here, but I'm going to leave it in the water, and it's going to come back, and you'll see the fish catch. Oh, missed him. Not a great hook set. He's coming back. There he is. Now, look at the parabolic fin right in here. It just has that lifting power, and it feels great when you're catching a fish. They're a lot of fun to fish with. All right, so there you go. I never get tired of watching myself catch fish. Once again, that is the Berkley Lightning Rod. It's their seven foot model. I believe it's called the 701. It's a medium action rod. Along with the fluke fishing, I found that it's really a very versatile rod. The other baits that I would throw with this rod are smaller whopper ploppers, Mega Bass 110, small jerk baits, spy baits, smaller topwater poppers. It, it really does a good job. Wacky rigged robo worms and any stick baits, especially wacky, wacky rigged. I like to use exposed hooks on this just because um, it's a spinning rod. If, if I'm going to use um, T-rig type stuff, I'll go into a little heavier rod. I don't think you're gonna be unhappy for $35 if you buy this rod. It's a great deal. Thanks for watching. If you happen to get one, you like it, send me a picture of a big fish. I'd love to see it. If you like the video, please subscribe. Hit the like button and I'll be posting soon. Thanks for watching. See you on the water.